Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. I'm John Skinner, and this week's video tip deals with shore fluke. So I was out bass fishing the other day, early in the morning, uh, getting a couple smallish bass on bucktails, and I hook up what I suspect is um, yet another bass. Uh, but it wasn't long before I knew that's not what it was because I could feel uh, familiar uh, shakes on the tip that indicated wow. this was definitely a fluke. And um, it's a nice size one for sure. And what gets me is we're not that far into the season. We're not that far into summer. And this is the third keeper I've had uh, from the shore while targeting bass. Uh, one was up in the sound and, and two were on uh, in bay waters. Uh, look how dark this one is. You can tell it's been over a dark bottom. It's uh, really a striking color on this. But, you know, here's a fish that's, uh, boy, it was in a rip and uh, hit a bucktail with a pretty big hook on it. And, um, yeah, I mean, to me, when you catch fluke from the shore accidentally when you're bass fishing, well, that indicates that's probably a pretty good place to actually target them. You know, if you're already casting a bucktail or you're casting a tin, it pays to put a couple droppers in the bag. Uh, for example, this simple dropper, just a plain 3 Gamagatsu hook on about a 5-inch uh, piece of leader material with a loop, slide it through the swivel, and uh, I prefer the 4-inch Gulf Swimming Mullet. It's a really good choice. And, you know, there's something that can give you the chance to maybe catch a fluke besides fishing for bass. Now, uh, when I'm targeting fluke specifically, this is the rig I'm going to use from shore. On the bottom loop is a three-quarter ounce or up to an ounce and a half bucktail with a four-inch uh, gulf swimming mullet. And a foot above that or ahead of that is a three Ogamagatsu bait holder hook with a three-inch gulp shrimp. Now, the bay shorelines and any of the bars along the bays, especially any place uh, near an inlet, are just awesome places to uh, fish for fluke. In this case, what I've done is I've hopped out of my kayak and I'm wading a very shallow bar. In fact, some places uh, the bar is completely dry and I'm just working edges. You can see some color in front of me where there's a drop off and um, boy, there's just like endless uh, areas like this around the inlets and plenty of real estate to do this and it's quite productive and you can see um, you know, if you've ever watched my videos from the boat, you see I like that rapid jigging. I do the same thing from shore, and occasionally I'll pause the retrieve just to make sure that that uh, jig gets down to the bottom, and I'm just doing a very slow retrieve while I'm bouncing the jig, trying to keep it close to the bottom, and uh, it's a very effective way to get these fluke going. Now, the reason I mentioned using just a plain hook for the teaser when I'm casting is uh, I'm trying to keep the wind resistance down and maintain casting distance. Um, if I had a more elaborate teaser, there would just be more drag uh, in the air when I cast it. So I just use the plain hook and a gulp, and uh, that helps preserve the casting distance a little bit. You can cast a little bit farther that way. So summer is a great time to do this fishing, so uh, plenty of places to try it. Go out and give it a shot. Okay, I'll talk to you next week. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.